thank you so much for stopping by so for today's video we're going to be doing a declutter and we're going to be doing my foundation declutter so here it's kind of like a mixture of foundations skin tints and things like that i just have them all together in this bin and this bin goes into my ikea alex drawer but it's gotten a little bit out of control honestly half of these are probably expired so we really need to go through them and narrow it down i'm gonna go ahead and take them out of this bin and lay them out and hopefully i can fit them all in the frame All right, guys, so these are all my foundations. Like I said, I have way too many. A lot of these are gonna be expired and some of them I just don't like. I need to go ahead and go through them just so we can reduce this because honestly, I just, I don't need these many. So I'm not gonna go in any order. First one we have here is this one from Lancome. This is the Taint Idol Ultra Wear and this is SPF 15. I have it in the shade 340 bisque neutral i think it is this expired 521 this one i need to declutter and i'm very sad to declutter it because it wasn't cheap however it's not cruelty free and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one all right next up we have this one from zoeva and this is the authentic skin natural luminous foundation i have it in the shade 120 n daring and this one's also going to be expired it's supposed to be 12 months and i bought this quite a while ago so it's time to let this go but this one was a really pretty one i feel like it's very similar to the anastasia beverly hills ones which we'll get to it's right over there it's a natural finish it wears really beautifully as you guys can see i used quite a bit of it i'm kind of sad that i didn't get to use it more but anyways i'm gonna declutter this one up next, we have this one from Shiseido, and this is the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. There are two types of this one. There's the Radiant and the Non-Radiant. I have the Radiant, obviously, and this is in 240 quarts. This is not a cruelty-free foundation, but it's so pretty. I wish they were cruelty-free. I'm definitely going to keep this one because I bought it barely last year. I think it was at the end of last year, and I really do enjoy it. However, in the sea of all my foundations, I actually forgot that I had it. All right, next up we have this one from Stellar. I never know the name of this one. I think it's called like The One or something of that sort. And I have it in S04. This foundation was one of my favorite foundations ever. But I don't know if they discontinued it or they stopped making it or what. But yeah, I think it went on sale on Sephora and then you couldn't buy it anymore. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't even know if they're cruelty free. I want to say that they're not. But I'm going to deep clutter because it's too old next up we have this one from avino this is the positively radiant cc cream spf 30 and i have it in medium and this has for sure expired uh, it says the date right here is that 2020 is that what that means oh i think that's what it means it can be 2006 i think it's 9 6 2020 maybe i don't know but this is definitely expired all right, next up, we have these two from Misha, and this is the Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have it in the shade S25, or number 25, and number 23. I'm in between two shades. I can wear both of them and get away with it. It's no problem at all, but these are definitely expired. I don't know how old these are, but honestly, I don't like them as much anymore. I have another one that completely replaced it, and that one is cruelty-free, which I'll get to in a minute. But yeah, these are good, but I like the other one that I found better. And yeah, you can find these on Amazon if you're curious. They do have a pump, and I'm going to go ahead and declare them because I've had them for a little bit too long. All right, you guys are going to laugh when you see the date on this one. But this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation, and I have it in the shade W4 Natural Beige. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the expiration date on there, but oh my gosh. This is 2019. We're in 2022. So this is so expired. And the other day I shook it up. So you guys won't be able to tell. But the d color inside had definitely turned. So if you're not sure if your foundations are expired. You can kind of tell by the color and like the smell. 
And yeah, I would say if you have a lot of liquid or cream products, be very careful with them because sometimes you can't always tell that they're expired. But if they're expired, they can cause like rashes and reactions on your skin and you don't really want that. So just be aware of that. I mean, powder stuff lasts a little longer like eyeshadows and powder, like face powders and bronzers and all that. But cream ones, I tried to be a little bit more aware of them. And yeah, but anyways, this one was a good foundation. I really liked it. They're not cruelty free, so I wouldn't repurchase it, but yeah, it's time to let this one go. I should have let this go a long time ago. Next up, we have this one from NYX, and this is the Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I have it in the shade Buff, and this one's also expired, but honestly, I never really liked this one. I never really heard anybody talking about it, so I kind of just threw it to the side, and then all of a sudden, I heard uh Mallory Brooke and she was saying that it became one of her favorites and she was using it every day so then I became kind of curious I was going to rebuy it but I decided against it because I have other ones that I love so much and it just wasn't worth it to me but yeah if you guys have tried this and you like it let me know in the comments below because I'm curious I might repurchase it in the future but for now I'm going to go ahead and declutter it next up we have this one from ColourPop this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating foundation i have it in the shade light 55 n and this one's also expired i've had it for a really long time also the shade it's a little too pink for me every time i go to use it i feel like it just doesn't really match me very well so i don't end up liking it but the formula on this is really nice it's a really like light coverage foundation but it gives you like a really pretty finish it looks very natural on the skin and it was one that i really did enjoy so i would repurchase it but i would have to buy a different shade all right next up we have these ones from lys and this is their their foundations but anyways i have them in the shade ln6 and mn5 and these i got as you guys can see they say sample because they're little tiny samples from the lys website and i like it it is newer to me so i am going to keep it but I'm not sure if I would say it's one that I would recommend. Their concealer I really do like and their translucent powder. But their foundation I'm unsure about. I feel like I need to play with it more like with different bases and stuff. Okay, next up we have this one from AOA Studio. These are basically like a dollar or two dollars each. This is the Buildable Satin Foundation. I got him in the shades 305 Pure Beige and 307 Natural Beige. And these ones just didn't work for me. Like the shades were way too dark. But also, I don't know. I just, I didn't, I never felt like I really liked their, um, the formula on my skin. Also, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's completely like separated. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and declutter these. I wouldn't repurchase them just like I said, I don't really care for the formula next up we have this one from pure cosmetics and this is the four in one love your selfie long wear foundation and concealer and i have it in the shade mn3 and i'm pretty sure this is expired but i'm gonna go ahead and keep it just because i want to finish it up i've used it a few times recently and i didn't get like any reaction from it or anything weird but i do love how this looks on the skin I like to use it as like an all over foundation and concealer, kind of like it says on here. And what's really cool about this foundation is that it comes with a pump, but then when you unscrew it, it comes with a little doe applicator. So you can use it as more like targeted areas or like a concealer. And this actually gives you really, really nice natural coverage. So I like using this on days where I'm not going to wear a lot of makeup or I don't want to deal with like concealer and foundation. I just kind of dab this all over my skin, kind of spread it out and it looks so pretty. So this is one that I would definitely repurchase. The shade matches me really well. And yeah, so I want to give it a few more goes and then a few more goes. What does that sound weird? A few more goes. I want to give it a few more go. so Goes? Yeah. I think that sounds right anyways but yeah this is one i'm gonna keep all right so now we have this one from l'oreal this is the infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation i have it in the shade 430 and here's another expiration date Are you guys ready for this one 10 20 so this has been expired for a year and a half so yeah this was a really nice foundation i feel like it gave you like really pretty coverage it's not i wouldn't say it's like a medium coverage it's more like medium to full 
and it gives you like a really pretty natural look. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look makeup y at all. But let's say together, they're not cruelty free. Take a shot for every time I say that because a lot of them are not going to be. But yeah, this is one that I would recommend as far as like the formula goes. But of course, they're not cruelty free. So that's that. All right, next up, we have this one from Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Buildable Blur CC Cream. And I have it in the shade medium beige. This is a little bit too dark for me. I think I need to go up one shade. But this is very, very old. I don't remember. Oh, this is right there. Expiration 12 2020. So this has definitely been in my collection for a little too long. I love the finish on this one though. It's really pretty. It gives you like very good coverage. I would say medium to high coverage. And yeah, it does have SPF 35, which is really nice for summer. But yeah, it's definitely time to let this one go. Next, we have this one from e.l.f. This is a Camel CC Cream. And this is, uh, has SPF 30. I have it in light 210N. And this one's newer to me. However, I don't know if I really like it. I've used it a few times and it kind of breaks up around my nose. As soon as you put it on, it looks really pretty, but then it doesn't wear very well. So I'm going to keep it. But most likely, I'm going to end up decluttering it. Next, we have this one from Profusion Cosmetics. This is the Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. And I have it in the shade Light One Warm Yellow. And does this one have an expiration date? No, but it says, oh wow, 24 months. Anyway, so this is supposed to be a um, hydrating kind of foundation with a natural satin finish, SP 15. And I've tried this a few times and I didn't really like it. Uh, however, I don't have like a full thought on it. So I am going to keep it and try it a few more times. It's not my favorite. I know that, but maybe with like a different primer or something like that, then I could make it work. All right, here we have this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And I have it in the shade uh, three and 1.5 latte. And this one's 12 months, but it's definitely a newer foundation to me. Oh, wow. I just noticed that the cap is like a zebra. What the heck? I never noticed that. But anyways, I bought this one on recommendation from Mallory Brooke, and she was saying that this was like her favorite foundation ever. So I bought it last year and I've worn it a few times for like events and stuff. And it works really, really pretty. It's not a foundation that I want to wear like on a normal daily basis just because it is a little bit more full coverage than I like to wear. But for like events or maybe like a wedding or things like that, then I would recommend this one. However, they're not cruelty free, so I wouldn't repurchase it. And yeah, I wish they were though. I feel like they have really good products. Yeah, I don't know if they will ever become cruelty free. That would be nice. But for now... They're not, but I am going to keep it because this was very expensive and I don't want to get rid of it because I bought it. All right, here we have this one from Smashbox. This is the Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer and I have it in light neutral. And what's cool about this one is that it's supposed to be four in one. So it's supposed to prime, moisturize, perfect, and protect because it does have SPF 25. So it's a pretty cool like you know, grab and go kind of product. So you just put it on in the morning without really thinking about it and just add a little bit of maybe brows or mascara or bronzer or all of them. And then you're ready to go when you don't have to think about it. So I like using this for like fast makeup. I don't use it on days where I'm going to do like a full face of makeup, but this is a really good one for that purpose. I feel like it's a little bit overpriced for what it is. I think you can get similar products in the drugstore, but if you can find it on sale, I would recommend it. And it has a really pretty finish and I'm going to keep it. Next up, we have this one from Revlon. This is the Candid Glow Moisture Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation. I have it in the shade 120 and this is really pretty. I think I got it um, because someone I was watching recommended it and they said that it was like one of their top foundations and I would say this is a really pretty light coverage foundation it gives you like pretty glowy finish and I like it it's not one of my favorites but I do like it I think it's nice and I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because apparently it lasts 24 months and it has not been 24 months since I bought it up next we have this one from Urban Decay this is the Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator and I have it in the shade 
light medium 41 and I bought this one a little bit deeper than my regular shade just because I wanted to wear it for summer. It's good. I think it's not my favorite. Like out of these two, I would prefer this one, but I still think this one's pretty good and I would recommend it. It is very hydrating. It looks pretty on the skin and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Up next, we have this one from CYO. This is the Long Lasting Foundation Life Proof. And I have it in the shade, who knows, 109, I think that's the shade. But this is like way expired. As you guys can see, like in the bottle, it has like weird little rings all around it. So this one's gonna be time to let it go. Next up, we have this one from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Believe It Foundation. And this one is in light to medium. And this one's a really, really pretty foundation. I think I got it last, uh, what was it? Maybe last fall, maybe? Or maybe end of summer, I'm not sure. But I haven't had this for a whole year. And this is a really pretty foundation. I feel like it wears really nice um, throughout the day. It gives you a really nice coverage, like a medium kind of coverage. And it looks really healthy on the skin. And this one actually does a really good job, like if you have to wear a mask or things like that it wears off very pretty so then you don't get like a weird mark on your nose like of your makeup coming off but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one uh, because it is newer to me and I pretty like it sorry my cats are fighting in the background if you guys hear them um that's them up next we have this one from wet and wild this is the photo focus foundation this is the dewy version and I have them in two different shades I have it in buff bisque and cream beige and these ones are for sure expired and the color inside has begun to change but these ones are pretty I would repurchase them I would recommend them um however they have a new one that I like a little bit better so I don't know if I, I would repurchase them but I would recommend them especially if you like more like that dewy kind of finish all right we're doing pretty good here let's continue so up next we have this one from Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation and I have it in the shade Neutral Sand. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay, this one I'm definitely going to keep. I have absolutely no idea when it expires. It doesn't say when it expires, which is kind of weird actually. But I recently tried this in a video and I've actually been really enjoying it. So it's one that it's become like a recent favorite. So I'm not ready to let it go. Next up is this one from Purito. This is the Sika Clearing BB Cream and I have it in 23 Natural Beige. This is the one that I was saying that has replaced my Misha BB Creams. I feel like this one wears a lot nicer. It has SPF as well and it's cruelty free. This is like a really nice everyday kind of BB Cream. It gives you like a medium kind of coverage. You can apply it with a sponge with the brush, with your fingers, and it looks really nice. This is one that I would recommend, and I'm definitely gonna repurchase once I run out because it's a really pretty foundation. All right, next up we have these two from Physicians Formula. These are the Healthy Foundation SPF 20. Um, I have them in two different shades. I have it in MC1 and MN4, and they have expiration dates and I can't read them, but it says, 19 something so these are definitely expired i mean you can definitely tell just looking at the bottle like how gross it looks inside so these are two that i'm definitely gonna let go all right next up we have this one from sephora this is the best skin ever long wear foundation and i have it in the shade 20n by the way if you guys are not like familiar this is where you go to check how long a product is supposed to last this is a really pretty foundation. It's definitely one of my top five favorites. And yeah, I would recommend it. The finish is so natural, but then it wears really nicely throughout the day. It gives you like medium to full coverage. I would say it's more like a true medium. It does have a pump and it's like $20. So it's pretty affordable. And it's definitely one that I would recommend. And I really like it and I'm going to keep it. Next up, we have this one from Beauty Blender. This is the Bounce Skin Tint. I have a hair and I have it in the shade light, light five. This is like a really pretty foundation. I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. It's another one that I would say is like my top five 
favorite foundations it gives you like a very light to medium coverage depending on how i apply it so if you apply it with like a sponge it's going to give you more like a light to medium coverage if you apply it with a brush it'll give you a medium coverage it does give you like a radiant finish but it's not like super over the top dewy so it gives you like very natural look healthy glow to your skin and i really really like this one so i'm definitely going to keep it i would recommend it and i would definitely repurchase it up next we have this one from anastasia beverly hills this is the luminous foundation foundation and i have it in 210 and and this one's definitely not expired yet this is really pretty foundation i feel like it's like a very standard foundation it gives you like a little bit of a satin finish it's not going to be super dewy but it is like luminous it's the perfect name for it because it does look a little bit luminous on your skin but it gives it like a very natural healthy look as you guys can see that's kind of like the theme of all these foundations because that's kind of what i like to wear so it's typically what i'll go for i don't wear any matte foundations at all but anyways yeah this is a really pretty one i would highly recommend it and this is the one that i was saying is very similar to the zoeva and yeah so i'm okay letting the zoeva go next up we have this one from it cosmetics this is your skin but better foundation and skincare and this one i have it in the shade light neutral 22 and this one i am sad to say that it's probably going to be expired as well i i don't know i wore it a few weeks ago and i think i was fine i didn't notice anything weird any smells anything like that so i might keep it and then try to use it a little bit more just so i can get a little bit more of my money's worth but this is one that i would recommend it's really pretty it's very natural on the skin i feel like i don't know about the whole like skincare part because i don't wear foundation every day you're supposed to wear it for like two weeks to be able to see a difference but yeah it's like very light foundation it's very watery but it gives you a very light to medium coverage this is here that it's supposed to be a natural radiant finish i'm gonna keep it out with a pure one and try to use it as much as i can just so that you know i can maybe let go of it in the next couple months next up we have this one from mac this is the pro longwear nourishing waterproof foundation and this one is definitely going to be expired now that i'm looking at it because it's only six months but honestly i just couldn't get on with this one i think it was mallory brooke that recommended it and she said it was one of her favorite foundations for like events and things like that but i feel like it just kept looking very very dry on my skin and i just didn't really like that so i don't know i don't know I think I'm going to keep it. Mm, no, I'm going to go ahead and declare this one. I just, I'm not going to reach for it. I know myself. So this next one is from Estee Lauder. This is the double wear stay in place makeup. And I have it in two and one. And this one, I don't even think it has an expiration date. But yeah, this one I bought, I believe it was like at the end of last year. They were having like a holiday sale and ended up picking it up because I've heard so many people talk about it this is like a favorite for a lot of people and i'm in the middle like i won't say that it's my least favorite but it's also not one of my favorites i need to wear it a little bit more but i know a lot of people wear this for like their wedding day or other special events so that's why i bought it because i wanted to have like a special event kind of foundation but i also just recently heard um jessica braun saying that she was wearing it like for daily use with like a sponge so i'm curious to use it that way and see if maybe i can get a little bit more use out of it instead of just keeping it for a special occasion so i'm definitely going to keep this one for now but i would not repurchase it next up we have this one from mac this is the studio radiance face and body radiant foundation and i have it in the shade c1 this is a replacement for their old body foundation which i'm kind of sad i wish i would have been able to try that one i've heard a lot of people say that it is actually different this one's more radiant than their original one which is kind of a bummer because the other one supposedly was a lot better than this one but even though this is not one of my favorite foundations i want to get more use out of it because it's basically like brand new and this was not cheap so out of the two max that i have i'm definitely want to keep this one and try to use it a little bit more Next up, we have this one from NARS. This is a Sheer Glow Foundation in 
Santa Fe. But this is newer to me, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, it gives you a really natural finish. It's really pretty foundation. It's sad that they're not cruelty-free. I wish they were because I would definitely repurchase this one. But yeah, this is a good one. It's newer to me, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Next up, we have this one from Wet n Wild. This is, the this is the Tinted Hydrator. And I have it in the shade... Uh, Oh, where's the shade light medium and this one is the one that I was saying that I like much better than their dewy foundation so if you're kind of like trying to decide out of the two which one to buy I would recommend this one better because it's not going to be as dewy as the other ones but it definitely gives you like a good amount of coverage I would say they're about the same as far as coverage goes but this one is a little bit better for me it gives you hydration without it feeling oily but it's like more of like a light to medium kind of foundation but this one's really pretty and i know it's a lot of people's favorite and it's going to be perfect for summer next up we have this one from essence this is a pretty natural hydrating foundation and i have it in the shade neutral vanilla and i don't know this one i heard i think it was taylor Wynn saying that she really really liked it and I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Like, I've worn it a few times, but I wasn't too crazy about how it looked on my skin. But I think I am going to keep it and give it a few more tries just so I can figure out whether I like it or not. But, yeah, I don't know. Have you guys tried this? Do you like it? What is your opinion on this? I think it's just okay for me right now. All right, next up, this is, as you guys can see, a new foundation to me. This is the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. And I have it in the shade light medium and i think this is a little bit too like orangey for me but i bought it on the it cosmetics site and i just didn't really want to deal with like returns and all that i don't even know how their returns work so i decided just to keep it and it works okay it's just not my favorite shade compared to like their other cc cream this is supposed to be more like lighter coverage and it's a really nice foundation i've heard a lot of people say that they don't like it but i do i think it's a good foundation i prefer using it with either a sponge or my fingers not with the brush. The brush kind of makes it look a little bit streaky and I don't know, it gives, like it highlights my texture versus with like a sponge or my fingers. It looks a lot nicer. So this is one that I am going to keep. Up next, we have this one from number seven. This is not really like a foundation, but it is a foundation drop and I have it in honey and this is meant so that you can put in your, to your foundation and it kind of changes the color. And I originally bought it to use for like summer for all my more lighter kind of foundation so i can deepen them but this is expired it's been way too long so i think it's time to let it go all right and then last but not least we have this one from fenty beauty this is the ease drop blurring skin tint and i have it in the shade six and this is a really pretty foundation it's supposed to be light to medium coverage and this one wears really really pretty as you guys can see it is newer to me so i am going to keep it and i really like it i think this is the nice I feel like this is the type of foundation that I look for when I think about an event. I want it to give me coverage without it looking like super heavy or cakey and this one does just that. All right, so let me round everything up and then I'll tell you guys how much we're keeping and how much we're getting rid of. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of 20 and we're keeping 24. I think that's amazing. I am so proud of myself for getting rid of almost half of my collection. I am sad that they expired because, you know, I don't ever want that to happen because this is basically wasted money. But I mean, it happens, especially when you have so many foundations and that's why I'm hoping to now be a little bit more conscious when I buy foundations. Just as a side note, I do give a lot of makeup away to like my sister, my mom. And so, you know, there's been some that are not here because I've given it to them. I'm excited to now have a more cured collection. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know how you guys think I did. Let me know if you guys have any of these foundations. I'll link below my playlist of my other declutters if you guys want to watch some more and yeah that's gonna be it so if you enjoyed it please remember to give me a thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed already i would appreciate if you would do so and i'll see you guys on my next one bye